Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As always, it's my pleasure, my privilege to welcome everyone to the House of European Football here in Lyon, Switzerland, for the UEFA Champions League quarterfinal and semi-final draws. After an exciting and dramatic round of 16, we now have eight teams standing in the world's top club competition. The drama this week was on full display in Madrid and North London as the first Champions League penalty shootout since 2016 saw the Gunners overcome FC Porto and Atletico Madrid edge past last year's finalists Internacional de Milano. Atleti are joined by two other Spanish sides in this round, crosstown rivals Real Madrid, who eliminated Leipzig, and Barcelona, who outlasted Napoli. Two of the competition's top scorers so far, Kylian Mbappé and Harry Kane, helped Paris Saint-Germain and Bayern Munich qualify to this stage as they beat Real Sociedad and Lazio, respectively. The Bavarians are joined by Bundesliga counterparts Borussia Dortmund, who overcame PSV. So it would be fair to say, ladies and gentlemen, that we have a star-studded lineup of clubs in this stage. Their road to London will be unveiled momentarily, but before we get to the draw, let's take a closer look at the eight clubs and this year's host city. Some fantastic action there. I'm sure you'll agree there'll be much more to come. But who will play who? That's what we'll find out very shortly indeed. I would now like to ask on stage the man who will oversee the draw proceedings. And that is, of course, UEFA Deputy General Secretary, Giorgio Marchetti. Welcome, Giorgio. Thank you, Pedro. Good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this draw ceremony has always been special as it reveals the most exciting part of the road to the final. But today we are celebrating the last draw ever for the current format of the UEFA Champions League. For more than 20 years, the group stage and the subsequent knockout stages have given us unforgettable football moments. What magical moments will be written into the history books next and who will join the pantheon of football giants. We are eager to find out as of the end of next summer, but let's not look too far ahead as emotions are at our doorstep with the UEFA Champions League 2024 winner to crown in what has been so far a fantastic season of action. Congratulations to the eight quarter finalists who have all had to give their best to emerge from the tough challenges brought by their opponents in the round of 16. We wish you all the best on your journeys to the mythic Wembley Stadium, which is looking forward to welcoming the two most successful European sides on the 1st of June. And to help us with today's draw is a very special guest. He had a stellar career and most notably helped his London club win their first Champions League title in 2012.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome <clears throat> John Obi Mikkel. Welcome. Thank you so much. I'm going to say hi to Giorgio as well. Right. Good, good, good. I know you've retired, but you're still looking fit, fresh. You could go out there for another Champions League game, maybe. Thank you. I wanted to ask you first about that historic title in 2012, right? Because that was such a magical run. When you look back, you've had a few years to think about it. What did it mean for you and for the club as well? Well, I think it meant a lot for us, obviously. Uh, I think that was the one trophy that the owner really wanted us to win. And also the fans as well really, really wanted us to win. And for us to be able to do it in 2012 was something really special. Uh, I think uh, we've managed to win everything until then. And then Roman was like, okay, stop winning the Premier League and the UEFA <laughs> League. <laughs> Just win me the Champions League. And to be able to do that uh, for him was something really special. The competition itself is so special to players, right? Yeah. What does it feel? And now maybe you're going to start missing it, right? Because you played it for so many years. When you hear the anthem, when you walk out, when you see the star ball, what, what, what does it mean for players? Oh, it's special. I mean, as a football player growing up uh, and being in the dressing room, we, we always talk about, you know, nights like this. Champions League uh, nights are so special. Uh, you know, once the sound comes on, the, 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 the atmosphere, yeah. you know, the energy level goes off the roof. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a special night. I mean, as a football player, you want to play in this kind of uh, games, uh, Champions League trophy, you want to win it. So. For us to be able to finally do it in 2012, knowing that we have a lot of players who was, you know, on their way out of the club was something really special. The likes of Drogba, JT, mm. Peter Cech was their last chance to win it. And for us to be able to do it then was really special. Now, I'm not going to let you uh, 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 go without putting a little bit of pressure on you. <laughs> Who's going to make the final in London? Well, I mean, the final is going to be in the UK, right? So uh, I hope uh, we get maybe if not one or two, you know, the English teams, Man City or Arsenal. <laughs> so I hope, but I mean, good luck to everyone else. Yeah, uh, Real Madrid, Carlo Angelotti used to be my boss as well at Chelsea. Yeah. Fantastic guy. Uh, so, uh, I mean, good luck to all the teams here. It's going to be some fantastic uh, games. All right. Well, you're going to have a lot to do with their destiny uh, in the next two rounds. Uh, Giorgio, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Pedro. Just a quick reminder that uh, this is a completely open draw. We have no country protection, no seeded teams, and no other special conditions. The eight balls containing the names of the quarter finalists are all placed in this bowl, from which they will be picked by Mikel, one after the other. The first team drawn, of course, plays the first match at home against the other team. The same procedure is then repeated for the other quarterfinal matches, and the fixture list for the quarterfinals will be available after the draw by the end of the afternoon. We are nearly ready. We just want to take a look at this uh, stellar lineup of the quarterfinals, starting with <clears throat> Arsenal FC, Club Atletico de Madrid, FC Barcelona, FC Bayern München, Borussia Dortmund, Manchester City, Paris Saint-Germain, and Real Madrid. So these are the eight teams. Everybody knows. All the fans want to know who will play who. And uh, Mikel, please, uh, this responsibility is in your hands now. <laughs> No stress, but uh, we want to see these four <laughs> great matches. No stress. No stress, no stress. Please. First team of the quarterfinals, 2024. Vito Sastens. Here you go, finally. You made it? Yeah. Arsenal. And uh, we start with Arsenal FC, finalist in 2006 uh, and uh, uh, out of uh, a very challenging uh, round with Porto where they, uh, the, the, decide, the result was decided for the very first time after the final in 2016 by penalty. So yeah. first penalty shootout in the Champions League, Arsenal won. And uh, <clears throat> Mikel, we want to know now who their opponents are. Arsenal playing at home the first uh, leg. They won all their first four home games this year, scoring 13 goals, conceding zero. FC Bayern Munich. And uh, it will be FC Bayern Munich having to visit uh, the Gunners, uh, six-time winners uh, Bayern. Congratulations to Manuel Neuer, who equaled in the previous round the record of Iker Casillas, 57 clean sheets in the... UEFA Champions League. We go for the quarterfinal number two. FC 
And uh, oops, more stock. difficult to open. Don't, 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 worry, yep. don't worry, it will open. There you go. Just a bit of suspense. <laughs> Club at Atletico de Madrid. And now another club who had to go through the penalty shootout uh, uh, Wednesday night. Uh, club Atletico de Madrid, three-time finalists. Uh, Atletico de Madrid, unbeaten since 1997 in their stadium. It's quite amazing. So it will be a tough challenge for this club that they are now going to... Um, uh, to draw, 1997, it was uh, unbeaten in the knockout matches, of course, of the Champions League. Last time it happened with Ajax in 1997. Borussia Dortmund. And uh, Atletico de Madrid will face uh, Borussia Dortmund, uh, the winners of 1997. Atletico de Madrid versus Borussia Dortmund. Michel, you can uh, now tell us about the quarterfinal number three. Four teams are left. Real Madrid. And uh, we start with uh, Real Madrid. Real Madrid is the home team in the first leg uh, of this uh, quarterfinal three. 14 time winners of Real Madrid. Please, uh, let's give us, and uh, congratulations in this case to Carlo Ancelotti, who uh, the first coach to reach the 200 matches in the UEFA Champions League. He did it in the previous round. Manchester City. And Real Madrid will take on uh, the uh, title holders of Manchester City. First title for Manchester City in 2023, seventh successive time in the quarterfinals, uh, the best current streak of any teams. Uh, so this will be really a quarterfinal promising fireworks. Uh, Real Madrid <laughs> versus Manchester City, and only one is left uh, that uh, we will soon discover. No surprise, of course, but we don't know who will play at home in the first leg. Paris Saint-Germain. And that would be Paris Saint-Germain, the finalists of 2020. Appeared the first last time in the quarterfinals in 2021. And uh, with this, just please uh, show us the last paper. We need uh, to make sure that uh, everything has been properly done. So for Paris Saint-Germain in this quarterfinal, we expect to have now FC Barcelona. FC Barcelona, the five-time winners of Barcelona. And since it's the day of congratulations, congratulations to Lamin Yamal, the youngest player to appear in the UEFA Champions League knockout stage, 16 years and 223 days. So everything is done. There were four great uh, challenges in the quarterfinals. And, that, uh, and now we need to move on to draw the semifinals as well. This will be another integral draw among the four teams which will qualify from the quarterfinals and are indicated as winners of quarterfinal one to four. Again, the club drawn first will play the first leg at home. I shuffle the balls. And you tell us uh, how the uh, semi-finals will be played, uh, starting with semi-final one. Winners of quarterfinals two. So quarterfinals two means uh, Atletico de Madrid or Borussia Dortmund uh, will be the home team uh, in this uh, semi-final. Against uh, the team that uh, you will uh, draw next, the winners of another quarter final. One, three, or four. Winners of quarter finals, four. Four. That means uh, Paris Saint-Germain or Barcelona will play against Atletico Madrid or Borussia Dortmund. Now, what is left is the, the other semi-final and uh, that will be hosted for the first leg by the winners of this quarter-final. Winners of quarter-final one. 
So Arsenal or Bayern will uh, <coughs> be the home team in the first leg against, uh, let's see, the last, uh, let's open the last ball. Obviously only one quarter final is left, uh, so the first uh, uh, semi quarter final winner is either Arsenal or Bayern. Winners of quarterfinals three. Versus Real Madrid or Manchester City. Now, only one small step to take. Uh, we need uh, to determine by a draw which team is to be considered as the home team in the final that will be played at Wembley, so it will be a neutral venue. But uh, for purely operational reasons, uh, as uh, both finalists will be treated uh, equally. Now, let's see, uh, Mikel, please. Uh, let's see which of the two teams uh, of the two winners of semi-final will be named as the first team of the final. Winners of semi-finals, one. So Atletico de Madrid or Borussia Dortmund or Paris Saint-Germain or Barcelona will be named first in the final against, we just have to check the last paper of this draw, one ball to open and uh, your job is over. <laughs> Thank you very much. Winners of semi-finals, two. So Arsenal or Bayern or Real Madrid or Manchester City will be the, uh, named second in the final. This is all for the road to Wembley 2024. It is indeed. You could feel the excitement, the tension here in the room. I mean, such an amazing lineup. We knew we were going to get fantastic matches, and that's exactly what we have in the quarters and the semifinals. Let's go through the results, starting obviously in the quarterfinals. We'll have Arsenal taking on Bayern Munich. It'll be Atletico de Madrid versus Borussia Dortmund. Real Madrid against uh, Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain facing Barcelona. Then, depending on who makes it through, of course, we'll have Atletico or Borussia Dortmund versus PSG or Barcelona, and Arsenal or Bayern Munich taking on Real or Manchester City. That's the road to Wembley final on the 1st of June, 2024. And talking about dates, it's time to mark your calendars, of course. You don't want to miss those games. The first legs of the quarterfinals will be played on the 9th and 10th of April, with the return legs scheduled for the following week, so on the 16th and 17th. The semifinals, yeah, the first leg will take place on April 30th and May 1st, with the return fixtures scheduled for the 7th and 8th of May. And, of course, the two finalists will then meet on the 1st of June in London. That will do it from all of us here at the House of European Football in Lyon. Thank you, Mikel. I'm sure your phone will be filled with messages <laughs> after this draw. Thank you, Giorgio. Very well done, gentlemen. All the best. See you again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.